Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and welcome back to Dear God, How Am I Going to Fight Goma with Three Hearts. That would not be that much of a surprise if this were, you know, Ocarina of Time. But Ocarina of Time, this is not. I also don't even remember how to get there, because it's been a while since I, uh... Yeah, it, it's been a bit since I played this game. You know what? I approve this use of save states. Just because, uh, as mentioned in previous episode, it's a bit of a pain to go through the amount of fighting you need to to get back to this boss fight. Anyway. Come on, Goma. Let's go. Nope. Well, at least I wasn't fully grabbed. Nope. What? Uh, I tinked my sword. Ah, it's annoying. Okay. Claw defeated. Now I can just do the normal thing. Oh, but you open your eye for such little time. What the? Okay, I can get hearts from the larvae, but they bounce around everywhere, and it's a little ridiculous. Ooh. Please open your eye. What? Why did that act like a tornado seed when- Oh, it's because he was- she was spitting out the larvae. She just interrupted my seed with that. Come on. Honestly, my best chance to uh, hit her with it is like a few frames after she spawns them. Please, can I get a heart? Oh, come on. What? Why? Hmm. Ember seeds be more effective? I have no idea, but I'm going to try. Okay, back to second phase. Seems like the red ones just attach to me and don't actually, uh, do damage, so that's nice. Really? That's all it took? Okay. So, Goma didn't take a lot of hits, so that's nice, but it was still an annoying fight to get the pattern down. Whatever. What's done is done. And I'm glad that I can now count this among the done category. Oh, Maku Tree. What do you have to tell me? Oh, Link. 
I too grow in might under the soothing rain. I had another vision just now. I saw a lake shaped like eyeglasses. <laughs> okay. Where this eyeglass shaped lake is, I don't know. Hmm. But I do wonder if I can reach the uh, jewels required to get into this northwestern area that isn't on Ox's palace yet. The Somewhere around here there was some kind of treasure castle. Sure, I'm gonna go to Spool Swamp and try and find my way around. To did, did my phone really just... I muted notifications from this group chat for eight hours. Like, an hour ago. But, the messages my phone just gave me a notification about were from before I muted it. My phone was just slow to push those notifications. God damn it, it's dumb. Uh, anyway, where was I going? Oh yeah, right and south. Don't care, Maple. Not today. We'll hear Maple's story later. Eh? Dumb joke. Terrible, terrible dumb joke. Yes. I can swim now, can't I? I can swim in deeper waters, but isn't this, like, proper ocean water that'd need, uh, Dimitri or something? Nope. This is swimmable, meaning I could... No. Go back. I'm going to unequip those before I do that again. Hello, old man. Soil, time, sun, rain, warmth. I await one who knows many essences. Really? The, uh... The jewel I get here is just... locked by, uh... Needing one more essence. Well, that's a pain. Still, I'm going to explore the screen north of here. Probably that cave to the west, because... Well, I can. If I can swim to it, why wouldn't I? Yep, sure. I'll get the ring appraised later. Uh, actually, don't want to do that yet, because I can... Uh, check one more screen that I've apparently never even been on. Which is this one. Which, uh, does nothing for me. Oh no, it's further north. Well, the screen north of this one. Oh, hello, island. Just somewhere to plant a geisha seed. I don't even have one. In that case, warp me out of here.
Eh, yeah, may as well get some of those rings appraised. Let's go. Appraise. Green joy ring, double ore chunks. Why would I care about that? Octo ring, become an Octorok. You know what? That's perfectly fine. Uh, but I have to do the thing to organize my ring box with them too. List. Uh, no. I mean, no damage from electricity is nice. Uh, double ore chunks, sent soft earth, become octorock, become lifelike. You know what? We'll have those become monster rings for no reason other than the funnies. I'm an octorock now. I can't eat. Shoot rocks. I just am an Octorok. Right. Did I ever figure out what to do with those rock mushrooms? Right. They're gone in autumn, which I don't think I have. I'm pretty sure that's, uh, summer, winter, and spring that I have. And yes, I did a fact check on Google if I, uh, was still correct about this. Well, the other big areas I have to check out... Ah, I still never went to the screen that actually has what I need on it. Because that's a screen further left than where I was at. All right, time to do some ocean swimming. I can't do ocean swimming. Also, I really need to stop leaving those equipped after I teleport. I may not be able to swim in the ocean, but I sure can fire a slingshot. Uh huh. The black beast rests here with a giant question mark made out of stone. The, the black beast rests here. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, use a mystery seed on a question mark. Yep. Figured that out. X-shaped jewel. And once again I need story progression to get the last one. Because I can't swim in the ocean, that means I can't see what's over to the left. At least not from here and not in winter. I could probably go further left if we had a different season to work with. It's gotta be a stump around somewhere, right? But I'm... just blind? No? Okay. No? Huh. What's the point of this bridge if there's no way to cross it? 
There probably is, just not one yet. Hmm, now that it's spring, I can go this way. Probably not the way I'm meant to, but I can. Can take this flower and go through this staircase. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm not meant to be doing this. I'm meant to approach this from the other side. Though... If I can make that kind of a gap with, uh... A dash jump. I remember last time I did this, I got soft locked for a minute. And, uh, the jump's just not hitting. I can make it with the dash jump. For one geisha seat? Gods, that's lame. At least I spawn back on this side. You know what else? It's entirely possible that, uh, this eyeglass-shaped lake, a spectacle lake, if you will, it's entirely possible it's a lava lake in Sabrosia that I forgot existed. I wouldn't put it past me to have already known this fact and forgotten since I haven't played a game in a few months. Eh, screw it. T time to just start using, uh, walkthrough. Sunken City is not what it said. North Horon. There we go. Eyeglass Lake. Um. Am I being a fool? I might have, uh, not even gone where it was telling me to in the walkthrough because my brain is fried. Is this... I would not call this a, like, shape like eyeglasses, but I'll deal with it. Actually, what happens if I make it summer? Because I think Walkthrough said do it in summer so the lake's dried up and there's stuff you can do with that. Oh, I'm blind. And all of this was for 100 rupees. Okay. Finally. Something that'll actually feel like progress if I do it in this episode. Firstly. Make it a season where the water exists again. And then there was clearly a path to uh, Sabrosia, which I hadn't yet taken, so we're going to do that. And not only does this put us in Sabrosia, it puts us in a new area. Thank you. What's going on here? Simply divine, impeccably fine, gorgeous design, notably kind, signs. 
Have you broken any signs? Of course not. Who could? They're so lovely. You and I see eye to eye. If I break any of the signs in the game, that person will fix them. Great. Good to know. Uh, not progress, though. I think progress is... I can just, uh, learn the final season if I need to. But I had a funny feeling it wouldn't be a straightforward path. That's why I'm heading this way. I expect it's required of me. I'm lucky I wasn't hit there. Oh. Oh, what is this? Don't be a case of escort the bomb flower. Please just put it in my inventory or something. Why can't I... Can't just dig that? Can I power bracelet it? Okay. Handle it with care. Uh-huh. Whatever you say. I mean, I technically handled it with care. Because I haven't fallen into lava. Don't hit me with the earthquake. Good. Now where do I need the bomb flower? Wait. Wait a minute. Furnaces? Uh, was what a sign says. And just to the right there looks like quite the industrious building. I'm guessing that's where I put my bomb flower. Hello. Everyone went to gather rocks at the temple to the north. There are nice sized rocks over there. Melt it down, these furnaces can melt any metal. Melting and mixing two kinds of ore. Uh huh. Well, that's not what. I thought this was. Then just to the north here, nothing? Huh? What did I pick up the bomb flower for? Oh. Got it. You see, because I picked up the rock that cleared this path, please just let me jump, thank you. Because of this, I can head back to the Temple of Seasons. Ugh. Because of course, my, it's been ages since I've played this game, Brain didn't remember one of these paths was blocked by rocks that required a bomb flower. Wonderful. That was great, now we have plenty, thank you. If you ever need any ore melted, come to the furnaces. I don't know what having ore melted does for me. I'm going to assume it's important. But finally, we have the power of autumn. I am the spirit of autumn. My turn has come. They say fall is lonely, but no. Pits are filled with fallen leaves and mushrooms are ripe for picking. When shadows fall on Hyrule, a hero shall appear. Is that hero you? Sorry. Did you actually say Hyrule or did I misread Holodrum? Regardless, the Rod of Seasons has been blessed with Autumn Breeze. Now the Rod of Seasons has the powers of all four seasons. This is all the help we can offer you. Oh, courageous youth. Din and all Holodrum are counting on you. Yep. And I'll try and prove worthy of the fact they're counting on me. 
in the next episode. Bye.